hey what's up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and right now we are a family of 280 members and uh, let us aim for 1000 subscribers till je advanced okay thank you for all of your support and keep sharing keep liking keep subscribing thank you very much and uh, in today's video we have five faces of a homogeneous cube of mass m four gram are painted in white which reflects all wavelengths okay and one face is black which absorbs as well as radiates wavelengths and the cube is placed in vacuum in free space at a very low temperature nearly absolute zero so initially when the cube is at rest it is given a char sorry charge not it is given a amount of heat 900 joule as it cools down due to heat radiation it starts moving slowly estimate its terminal speed uh, speed of light is given 3 into 10 to the power 8 ok so it is something like this that if we consider a cubical block or a cubical body ok 5 of its surfaces are painted white so which only reflects the light but only one surface is totally painted black okay which absorbs as well as reflects all possible wavelengths okay so what happens when we have supplied after supplying an amount of heat q it starts radiating from this black surface okay so when it starts radiating from this black surface it is emitting an I mean it is emitting some number of photons per unit time and due to that emission of photons there is some impulsive force in the backward direction okay which results into its increase in speed now what happens with uh, as time goes on the surface is keeps on emitting photons resulting in decrease in its temperature so after some amount of time uh, the body will lose all of its heat and that whole energy will be converted to its kinetic energy that means after some time t the body will move will keep on moving with some constant velocity v and it will be its final velocity of course i think uh, they have not considered friction here that the block is placed on a frictionless surface fine so basically the whole impulsive force due to radiation will be converted to velocity so how do we start this problem so here our main focus will be on the black surface of the cube okay because that is the main source of impulse here so if you just see the black surface of the cube let me draw the cross sectional portion let this cross sectional area be a okay now this surface will keep on emitting photons in all possible direction but the maximum possible solid angle will be 2 pi okay so maximum possible solid angle will be equal to 2 pi because this source will only emit in the forward direction okay in only right hand side of the uh, region of the free space okay so it will not emit in the left hand side so the possible solid angle is 2 pi fine so let us consider one such region making an angle theta this angle is d theta ok so this radius would be let this be r so this would be r sin theta and the thickness is r d theta so if you see carefully that the number of photons being thrown along this area would be in this direction let the number of photons be dn okay and each photon will have energy of h mu okay now due to this 
throw off photons of energy h mu let the intensity at this region be i so the intensity according to the definition of intensity is the amount of energy radiated per unit area per unit time normally so total number of photons energy of each photon per unit area that means this area of the ring that is 2 pi r sin theta times r d theta per unit area per unit time normally ok so normally so this is theta this would be cos theta oops sorry fine now if we write d n it would be i 2 pi r square sin theta cos theta d theta times d t divided by h mu ok and uh, now the basically the momentum due to this movement of the photons would be in this direction that would create a force in this way but uh, the perpendicular component of the force is responsible for the impulse on the block so we would take a component okay the perpendicular component of the momentum or perpendicular component of the change in momentum fine so that momentum would be d n h by lambda we know momentum due to each photon is h by lambda number of photons moving along this direction is this one so multiplied with d n and uh, we need to take the perpendicular component so we need to multiply another oops cos theta here so our final expression becomes i by c 2 pi r square sin theta cos square theta d theta times dt integration and uh, let us consider that it the whole cubical block takes a time t naught to lose all of its energy q and the possible values of theta ranges from 0 to pi by 2 ok and that rises the velocity or increases the momentum of the block from 0 to m times v ok so v becomes i by m c 2 pi r square integration of this thing would be 1 by 3 this one is t naught so i times 2 pi r square times t naught divided by m c times 3 and this one is nothing but the total heat supplied or the total heat lost through um, due to an intensity i through a cross sectional area sorry through a surface area of 2 pi r square because as I have said the total radiation is taking place in the form of a hemispherical surface or at a solid angle of 2 pi so energy per unit area per unit time into the surface area into the time taken so that would be the total heat ok so this is the final terminal velocity of the block now if you just put the values given in the question that is q 900 joule mass is 4 gram ok so 900 joule 4 gram the 3 into 10 to the power 8 you would get 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 millimeter per second so this would be your final answer so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you like this video please do subscribe and share it with your friends god bless you peace